07 Commanders, welcome to the channel. I am Orbital Jeffo, and we are in Elite Dangerous. Today we're going to be going over mining uh, all the basics that you'll need as a very beginner miner to begin making money in the galaxy. Now some people might want to tell you that mining is dead. Mining is not dead. Mining is still a very viable and profitable career path in Elite Dangerous. Let's talk for a moment about equipment. Today we're talking about laser surface mining. So if you see any equipment on my ship um, that I do not specifically mention, then it is not particularly pertinent to laser surface mining. So keep that in mind for the next videos. Uh, today we're only talking about surface mining, all right? There is some equipment that all types of mining do need though. Let's go over here to our optional internals section. Uh, first item up for business is the collector limpet controller. The collector limpets do exactly what you think they do. They pick up the bits of mineral and gem that you are mining and they return them to your cargo hold. This particular limpet controller is a class seven. It can run four maximum limpets at the same time. These are stackable controllers. You can run multiples on your ship. For example, if I were to put another class seven controller on here, I could run eight consecutive limpets at the same time. Next item on the list, I'm gonna skip down is the Prospector Limpet Controller. The Prospector Limpet scans the asteroid and uh, returns data on its composition and makeup. Fire one of these, it will travel out in a straight line until it hits an asteroid. It will latch onto it, scan it, and return the information to you. Um, this is a class three Prospector Limpet. Um, you can run a max of two simultaneous Prospector Limpets on a class three. I don't particularly find having multiple Prospector Limpets running at the same time useful. Um, somebody may, uh, but as soon as you exceed your max active Limpets, um, it will self-destruct the oldest Limpet that you have going. Now, we cannot forget, and do not forget, the refinery module. The refinery module is what takes all of these raw bits of mineral and gem and turns them into beautiful sellable commodities packaged into neat one ton cargo canisters. Um, don't skimp on the size if you can help it. The larger class of a refinery means more bins for you to be able to fill up with a delicious mining goodness. The refinery that I'm running is a class 4 refinery. As you can see, it has 10 whole bins. That's 10 different bins that it can place different minerals in. And I don't want to get too, too into the weeds about the refinery, but I think with a little bit of experience, you'll see what I mean. Now let's head back up here to our hard points section where we get to the meat and potatoes of laser surface mining. Of course, it is our mining lasers. Now I run two mining lasers on this ship. That's because I do all types of mining and I do all types of mining um, in one session. I do recommend, and most people do run more mining lasers. The more mining lasers you have firing into a particular asteroid, at the same time, the faster you will be able to mine its contents. Um, but for my purposes, two, it works just fine. I don't mind waiting just a little bit longer in order to get those minerals off the asteroid. That is all the equipment that you need for laser surface mining. Now, always remember, always make it a point, an early good habit to get into, to always check your ship for limpets. You will get out there at least once in your mining career and have forgotten the limpets entirely. It's frustrating and we all do it. Now, I like to go ahead and take about half my cargo hold worth of limpets. Um, you'll kind of see as we're going along why this is important. We do tend to waste a lot of limpets while we're out there mining. You know, God bless the limpets. Let's head off to our mining destination and um, I'll meet you back over there. So here we are with the magic of editing. We're at our mining site. 
Now, as soon as you reach your target body of asteroids, you're going to want to get close enough to use your surface scanner. And instead of scanning the surface of the planet, we're going to be scanning the asteroid ring itself. As you can see here, uh, I've already scanned this particular ring. However, I'm going to do it just so I can show you how it's done. Notice my surface scanner says we're still a little bit out of range. So I'm going to kind of scoot up a little bit closer until it turns blue. Now we're ready to go into the surface scanner and begin scanning. Now, if we were going to be scanning the planet, we would be paying attention to this horizon line here so we could get our probes landed on the surface of the planet. But we're actually going to pull out to where we have our ring indicator. Notice we have our miss indicator out here, which means our probes are going to fly right past that ring and that planet. Let's get it right in that ring indicator and fire a probe. Now we only need to fire one probe per ring. Now, obviously this is already a scanned ring. It's not going to do anything here. But uh, keep in mind that you may have several different types of rings. We may have a rocky ring on the inside and an icy ring on the outside, for example. You're gonna wanna use one probe per ring type. Now that we have our hot spots highlighted, we are going to scoot right up in there and start checking them out. I'm just going to go ahead and pick a very large low temperature diamond hotspot and we're gonna drop right in the center of it. Now notice that these little uh, hotspots are heat maps, so you're gonna have more concentration of your mineral on the inside of the zone rather than the outside of the zone. I'm going to aim right for that marker because that marker is right in the center. We're going to get right down on in there. Now, when you first drop into a ring in populated space or near populated space, it's not uncommon to be scanned by pirates. This can be an issue if you've already been doing some mining and you have not yet unloaded your cargo. But if you're only carrying limpets or you're not carrying anything at all, hopefully you're carrying limpets, otherwise this is a wasted trip for you. Just let them scan you, they'll be on their way soon enough. And I find an asteroid, I'm going to hit it with my prospector limpet. So I'm going to come up near this one, reduce my speed to a reasonable, reasonable speed. And off prospector limpet goes. I'm going to go ahead and target it, let it attach to the asteroid, and do its scan. Engaged. Notice how my information display has changed. Asteroid scan this particular asteroid is 100% uh, is complete, has all of its minerals. As you mine, that number will decrease. It's full of methanol monohydrate crystals at a concentration of 7.58% also has methane clathrate and its material content is low. By material content, it's talking about engineering materials. Yes, you can actually get engineering materials from mining. Now remember when I told you that we would be going through a considerable number of limpets while mining? This is why. All right, so we found our first uh, asteroid with low temperature diamonds. We have 4.32% concentration. And we also have medium uh, engineering materials content. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my laser, uh, mining lasers. Mission objective detected. I'm gonna get right up and close begin firing. Now I do need to put some charge to my weapons capacitors. These do run off the weapons capacitors and I'm just gonna start lasering the asteroid as it rotates. Now as you can see we're starting to get some materials coming off of this asteroid. Here we have some bromelite and low temperature diamonds. I'm gonna go ahead and begin releasing some collector limpets. 
And I'm gonna release four at a time. Be sure to deploy your cargo hatch. Try not to run over your limpets. Limpets die de horrible deaths all the time. It happens, don't worry about it. Just fire a new one. Just pay attention as you hear that notification. Now I'm gonna continue lasering. And as the minerals are coming off of this asteroid, it's going to they're going to continue picking them up. We're gonna be doing a little dance. I'm gonna refire a collector limpet every time one dies. Now there's something on the left uh, hand panel that I'd like to point out to you. It's quite important. On your context contacts panel, you're gonna notice you have the opportunity to add certain materials to your ignore list. I recommend doing this for all of the items that you don't want. Um, notice how I have bromelite added to my ignore list. I know it keeps disappearing, but I have bromelite added so that it's actually going to only be keeping the low temperature diamonds out of each of these. Now keep your prospector limpet targeted so that you can see whether you have depleted the asteroid or not. Once the asteroid is depleted, it will tell you on the left hand side. We're down to 57.14%, 54.76%. Our collector limpets continue to collect. If you're really feeling clever, you can try and draw something naughty in the asteroid if you are so inclined. Now at this point, our asteroid is depleted. There's nothing else that we can really gain from continuing to laser this asteroid. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my collector limpets finish up. But notice there are quite a few fragments out there to be collected. Now, as soon as your limpets start finding that they have nothing to collect, they're going to complain and they're going to park themselves underneath your ship. They will travel along with you for a little while. Um, at a certain point, though, they will self-destruct. If it bothers you and you want to get rid of them, deactivating and then reactivating your collector limpet controller will self-destruct those limpets. Alrighty, so I think that covers the gist of laser mining. If you have any questions, feel free to post those in the comments below. O7s to you, Commanders. I look forward to flying with you out there. Fly safe, and until next time, be kind to one another. I'll see you then.